Hello ladies and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a West Kiss hair, hair review on this 30 inch curly wig. It has combs. Um, it came with an adjustable strap in the back and it also came with a little um, piece that I could sew on the back so I can make my wig tighter like a strap. So it also came with or actually I bought these brown wig caps. Um, it came with a wig cap, but I went and bought these darker brown ones because they match my skin a little bit more. So I'm just going to do the ball cap method. I'm going in with my got to be glued free spray. And I'm just trying to make sure all my hair is back. So I actually went in with this twice. The video is going to show you that. And like I said, I'm going to go on with that two times. And I'm just going to make sure that is all pressed in and not dripping um, down my face. And you want to rub that back as you spray it on there. Rub that back. And then just go on with your blow dryer. So right here you can see I'm cutting some holes in the sides of my ears. Um, this is a method that I learned from a lot of YouTubers and hairstylists. Um, it's basically to make sure the cap doesn't, I don't know, like scoot back and to make sure it's not like covering your ear because that is a really like irritating thing when I used to apply my wigs and do the ball cap method. <laughs> and I freaking screwed up. But after I um, did that with my ears, I actually put it, um, put the free spray by my uh, ears one more time. Just got to make sure it's all secure, ladies. That's why I went in the third time. But right here, you can see I'm just cutting the cap. I'm sorry, my camera was a little blurry. Um, we was having a lot of technical difficulties trying to record this. So that is what happened and yeah i'm just cutting up until i can't cut anymore until it's you know basically stuck down because some of it will be lifted but you'll know when to stop cutting because it'll be completely like stuck to your head Here she is. Just gonna take these two clips and I'm going to brush all this excess hair out of the way because now I'm about to go in and lay this baby. I'm just making sure that she fits and I'm going in and cutting some of that cap to make sure it's aligning with my wig. I'm now going in with my foundation. I like to put this on my cap and sometimes my lace, but I did tint my lace. Um, I could do a video for you ladies on that if you want to see how I tint my lace or how I make my own lace tint spray. But for now, I'm just going in with the foundation and putting that all on my cap.
Now that we see she fits, I'm gonna go in with my ghost bond and I'm going to apply it right in front of that cap and on that cap as well. I'm gonna do this piece by piece, section by section. Ladies, we are not gonna put the glue all the way around our head. We are gonna do the front first and then the sides. Now, just like we do that got to be glue free spray we are going to mm, wipe that glue backwards in a backwards motion as well um, just because it looks a little cleaner when you do apply the lace um, so you're gonna go in and blow dry that but you're actually going to go in and do two um, layers of that glue I actually did two layers I didn't show it in the video but I did do two layers of that in the front. I also did two layers on both sides. So like I said, we're just gonna take that glue and we're going to apply it in a backwards motion toward the cap. Ladies, do not apply too much glue. We just want a thin layer because we are going to go back in a second time and we're going to apply it again. Um, also, before you apply it the second time when you're drying it with the blow dryer, make sure that it is clear. Make sure that it is clear. That's how you will know it is dry and then it will not leave any residue on the lace and it will look seamless.
so it's lifting a little bit I'm just gonna go in with some um, free spray and lay that down that's what I did but now I'm just going to apply this wrap I'm gonna let that sit and I'm gonna blow dry it and it's going to help it lay and then that's how you're gonna let it melt into the skin that's how we're gonna get it to lay and melt so now I'm just taking the wrap out it kind of got a little caught in my hair um, but as you can see it is laid. So as I said, my camera quality was a little sucky, but I went and I wiped my camera lens and it looked a lot better. But um, yeah, I'm just going in with my edge booster now and I'm gonna put that at the top of my wig, which helps it lay flat. And I just like wipe a little bit of that on the sides and at the top. And then I go in with my hot and gold. Um, let me know let me know what, what is this what is this hot comb <laughs> i couldn't think and i just lay that down and it just lays down so flat you won't have those lumps and bumps at the top of your wig girl And now we is just gonna drench this 30 inch luscious lady in water. It's gonna drench her in water, drench, 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 and brush her out with um, a denim brush. And denim brushes really help define your curls. So I usually will drench it in water I'll go in with my Cantu curling cream or any type of curling cream you use, whatever you got, girl, it'll work. And then just use that denim brush and those curls are going to pop. Yes, like, come on, come on, baby. Look, that is light. That is flat. Scalp, baby. That is scalp. That is scalp. Scalp. And this is the end of the tutorial, ladies. This is how I lay my West Kiss 30-inch wig. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it for you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys want to see on my channel. Like, keep me updated. I'm trying to get back on here. I'm trying to get back in the jig of things. So let me know what you guys want to see. I love doing hair videos for you guys because I love wigs. So let me know what's popping, girl. Let me know. Yes, yes. Like, comment, and subscribe. I love, love, love you ladies. Mwah. Bye.